All right, here are the last notes for uh, chapter 10. Uh, this is 10.5, area of regular polygons. Um, first, I will give you a uh, formula, but I just want to make sure I note that uh, regular polygon is um, a polygon that has congruent sides and congruent sides and angles. So, uh, just to remember that. And our formula is area equals one half the apothem, I'll explain what that is in a minute, times the perimeter. So this is the apothem. The apothem is the um, perpendicular height from the center to the side of the polygon. Uh, from center to side. And the perimeter, of course, is all the way around. Okay. <clears throat> um, so again, it must be a regular polygon, so I'll draw a regular polygon. I'll label all the sides are congruent, um, all the angles as well, I'm marking real well, and then that apothem is from the center to the side there. It's that right angle. Kind of hard to see. It's right there. Right, we're going to find the area of these regular polygons down here. Oops, erase that. Okay, so the area equals one half the apothem times the perimeter. So first thing I'm going to do is find the perimeter. The perimeter, this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight-sided figure. So eight times four. So the perimeter is 32. The apothem is this piece right here. So my formula is area equals one half the apothem times the perimeter. I'll fix that for you, one half. So area equals 48. Do that in your calculator. And again, we're talking area, so that's centimeters squared. <clears throat> All right, second example over here. Again, area equals one half the apothem times the perimeter. I'm going to go ahead and find the perimeter here first. My <coughs> perimeter is equal to 12 times. Looks like I've got an octagon here. I'm just going to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sided figure. So that is 12 times 8, which is equal to 96. So the area equals one half the apothem, which is listed right here. 14.49 times 96. So area equals 695. Point. Move that up a little bit. 0.52. And since no units are specified, I'm going to put units. Not uh, writing right there. Units squared. Okay. <coughs> Again, one-half the apothem times the perimeter. Do a little bit of work first. And again, this only works with regular polygons. Next example down here says find the regular or, and the area of a regular octagon. So I know that that has eight sides, side length of nine inches, and an apothem that is 10.9 inches. So again, I'm just going to write the formula, area times apothem. Find my perimeter first, so I know it's going to be 8 times that 9 inches each side. So my perimeter is 72. <coughs> Using that formula, area equals 1 half the apothem, which is 10.9 times 72, which we found to be the perimeter. So my area equals 3.5. 
392.4, talking about inches here, inches squared. Again, just using that formula to help us solve. Okay. Um, so we are going to find the area of this shaded region here. So um, I see we're going to have to find the area of my one, two, three pentagon minus the area of my triangle. Um, just a little refresher so we remember area formula for a triangle is one half base times height. All right, so the area of my pentagon, I'll draw my pentagon here is equal to one half my apothem times my perimeter. I see my perimeter is going to be eight times five, which is equal to 40. <coughs> so area of my pentagon is equal to one half my apothem, which is 5.5 .5, times my perimeter, which is 40. So the area of the pentagon is equal to um, 100 and 10 feet squared. Mm, over here I'm going to do the area of my triangle. One half my base, which is one of my sides, so that's 8, times my height, which is that perpendicular 5.5. Again, so my area of my triangle is equal to, that is going to be 22 feet squared. All right, and then my final answer for the area of the shaded region is going to be, I'll do this up a little bit, uh, 110 minus that 22. So the area of the shaded region equals 88. And again, my units are feet, so that's feet squared. All right. So here find the area of the shaded region of my regular polygon here. So it looks like I've got an octagon and then I've got a trapezoid up there, that white uh, non-shaded part. So my area of my octagon, I'm not going to try to draw that, is equal to, um, I don't need the A there, uh, one half the apothem times the perimeter. My area of my trapezoid is equal to one half the height times base one plus base two. Give myself some room to work here. Oops. <clears throat> All right, I'll do the octagon in blue here. So the area is equal to one half the apothem, which right here is 2.4 times my perimeter, which I see a side length is 2, so 2 times 8 is 16. So perimeter equals 2 times 8. So the area of my octagon is equal to 19.2 meters squared. I'll do my trapezoid here then in red. So the area equals 1 half Height of my trapezoid is 1.4. Base 1 looks like it's going to be 2. Base 2 is 4.8. Simplifying that, so I've got 1 half of 1.4 times 2 plus 4.8 is 6.8. Let your calculator do the rest. So area of the trapezoid <coughs> is equal to, it looks like 4.8. 7, 6, and again we're talking about meters squared. So then my final answer here um, for my trapezoid, I will get a different color. So area of the shaded region is equal to my octagon, so 19.2 minus my trapezoid, 4.76. So that is equal to 14.44, and again, my units is meters squared.
Alright, that concludes my notes now. I want you guys to work on that section, assignment 7, which is that practice 10.5.